obviously delighted to, to, to get off to a, a good start as as we all know. Um, a really tough place to, to start the campaign. But um, the good thing about it, uh, in, in, in my opinion, is you know there's a lot of things that we could have used as an excuse over the last 12 days, but I said to you in Portugal that our preparation has been top draw, and it really has, and I think um, we got what we deserve at, at the end of the day. You know, it's a tough place to come, and our history says exactly that. But um, the way that we um, galvanised together as a group is testament to how we go about our work in, in preparation for, for this test match. Well, it is. I mean, if you if you give us a bonus point win here at the start of the competition, we'd have probably snatch our hand off. But at the same time, the best thing about it is that um, there's, there's plenty to do and, and fix and, and get better with, so it's not a bad, bad, bad place to be. Um, I thought our composure in, in the first half was great. You know, I thought we was pretty clinical as far as taking our chances. Um, our defence at times was going after them, but you know, was um, letting them uh, play the, the game that they want to play, and they played pretty expansive to, to be fair to them, offloading the ball, and they looked dynamic and strong. But our scramble defence was was outstanding, especially in the first half on on, on, our, on our own line, etc. Uh, but funnily enough, the, the the first 20 minutes of the second half wasn't great, and it was a lot of it was a uh, on downfall regarding how we played or discipline, etc. But how we came out of that showed some good resilience and kept playing right to the end, and should have had one or two more, or, or could have had one or two more, was was pretty pleasing. What were you, Andy? What were you doing in that kind of third quarter of the game where you where you did find yourself on the back foot a lot? Well, we, we can't give them access. That's, that's it's as simple as that. Through through uh, our own fault, you know, and uh, it's something that we've uh, constantly tried to get better at. And I thought in the first half it was excellent. Actually, in fact, towards the last ten minutes of the, the, the first half, there was one or two bits were allowed that we allowed them to get out of uh, trouble a little bit. But um, yeah, we we always know that international rugby, especially with a side like Wales and they're a good side. I thought they were, I thought they were good uh, today. I thought they were strong, like you know. I thought they they were aggressive. They punched hard and offered some threats. They're always going to have a purple patch. Purple patch for 20 minutes is something that we need to nip in the bud a little bit quicker. But um, rolling with that was 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 impressive. The two injuries he had before the game, Key and, and Jameson. How are how are they? Do you, do you know the extent of them yet? We'll find out tomorrow. Um, so. We'll see, um, but again, I think it's the strength of the group, you know, coming through that, and you know, guys like Johnny, there's three or four of them that's not played any rugby for a long time. Um, two or three injuries during the week as well, uh, and what happened this morning could un un unsettle any side. But there's no excuses for us. We prepare as a group. We pre we prepare as a, a squad of um, 37, 38, and we expect ourselves to. To, to perform and, uh, and that's what we did. And Johnny, considering those disruptions, how proud are you as captain of the way you started the game, particularly in the first 20 minutes? Yeah, really happy with how we started. Uh, it was everything we'd, we'd spoke about during the week in terms of our accuracy and um, I thought our discipline, you know what I mean? When they had the ball, we were really good and then let that slide in the third quarter. Uh, we gave them four or five penalties on the bounce. I always spoke about it at half time as discipline. Yeah, uh, so good just, coaching actually. We just did the opposite. <laughs> they all listened very well. I think they heard, we said, don't give away any penalties. No, they heard it was penalties. Uh, <laughs> so we gave away some some silly penalties, but I thought the ref did really well because that's what you want. You want the ref to be strict. I mean, we had the ball at the start. He was refing the team without it. When, when they had the ball, he was refing us, and we were doing some silly things at the start of the second half. So fair play to him. It's tough to come here and, uh, and ref you know, in, in that crowd and, and give the right decisions like he was doing. Um, and so fair play to him, yeah. John, how did you find it out there, obviously, considering you haven't had a lot of game time? I, yeah, I don't think I've ever been as nervous before a game um, for lots of reasons, but the main one was because I forgot what it's like to build up to a game. You know, like obviously I had one game on New Year's Day since the South African test and, uh, and obviously I got injured. Uh, so 
from that but I've trained hard I've trained uh, you know made mistakes in training but you know when you want to train well and you make those mistakes hopefully you get a few less on, on the Saturday um, so yeah obviously you know we couldn't we came a bit unstuck in the third quarter so we need to just go and have a look at that and see what we could do better um, but yeah happy to, to get through and um, look forward to next week now Um, yeah, a little bit. I slipped off one or two uh, tackles, trying to go a little bit lower. Um, so I went back to tackling higher in the second half. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it, look, it can be in the back of your mind. Like I've, I obviously tested it during the week, um, doing a bit of contact with Simon Easterby, um, and you know it felt good. So I was confident, and I got a good whack on it um, in the first half. So I tested it out as well. So the, the doctor was right. Um, it's all good. Advance. Well, some of you, some of you guys knew before knew before us. Murray, you was very quick. You you knew before me actually. So um, I don't know how that's done. So it was um, mid morning, mid morning this morning. And, oh, sorry, Murray. And on that, so that's obviously a tough blow. But do you look at it like? We do, and we, we, you know, we've we've always been consistent in that because it's always been about the group and having no excuses. You know, um, you can look for plenty if you, if, if you search for them, but yeah, they should be irrelevant for us if we, if we prepare in the right way as a squad and, and trust the squad and back the squad and and go in and put a performance like that just reiterates those points even more. So I would have thought. Okay, so Johnny, what's happened just before you went off? Yeah, I was just trying to get uh, to get to the physio. I had a bit of a dead leg, and just wanted to get it strapped up. And then he said that uh, I don't know. He, he just said that I need to go off for HIA. But I was like, no, no, I just need to see the physio to get my quad strapped. Um, and then that was the confusion. So I went off, did my HIA. Um, I had to do HIA, and it was it was all good, obviously. Um, so yeah, fine. Yeah. <coughs> I just got a dead leg, just a dead, dead, just on my knee, but it's not bad. And can I ask you, just in terms of Connor and Finley, obviously getting a chance at downfield, those two? Delighted for them. Um, I thought they were both outstanding. Connor controlled the game really well, like we knew he would. And uh, yeah, I think the game suited Finlay. I think he um, he did excellent in, in, in certainly in in the bread and butter stuff of the scrum. Um, I think he uh, he was. He was aggressive in, in, in that regard, and the rest of his game was was spot on as well. And uh, so, again, uh, I said to you during the week, you know, there's a there's a lot of trust there throughout the squad, and it's nice to see. It's good. Yeah, he was he was strong. He wrote a few tackles. He was being himself, and yeah, he's, he was he was looking for another opportunity. He knew that this was a big one for him, and uh, played well. You know, um, I also thought. Our bench did really well uh, when they came on. Added a lot of uh, punch to us and you know uh, tempo into, into our game. So it's nice to get Bundy get back going as well. Johnny, game one, it's always almost the most difficult one, and it, it kind of unlocks the whole thing for you. How excited are you about what's ahead now in the next four games? Yeah, like it, it is only a start, but at the same time, if you come away from a bad result today, triple crown's gone, grand slam's gone. You know, you're obviously still going for a championship, but um, where we're still in the hunt, you know what I mean? So it's it's brilliant. And now it all, it's all down to next week. That's the beauty of this competition. There's no easy games. Uh, all five of our games this year are really tough um, and none tougher than, than next week. You know, the the team that hasn't been beaten for, you know, a year uh, come in. We haven't beaten them yet. So um, we're up against it, but, um, you know, I'm sure the... You know, when we went over to the Stade de France last year, the crowd, probably the best atmosphere I've seen. I'm sure our Irish fans will put on something similar to that. How much do you relish that? Well, you relish every game you play for Ireland, don't you? It's, uh, you know, even if we lost today, you'd be relishing it because it's another test match for Ireland. So it's, you know, we need to start at zero again. And, and you know, we prepared unbelievably well um, for the last 12 days. 
and you know sometimes you go oh it's not going to be it's not going to be perfect and it wasn't perfect over the 80 but at half time I was going that was pretty good uh, so you know we need to keep building and you know we need to sort out that third quarter you know we can't let that be the first 20 minutes next week or the second 20 minutes you know we need to be more consistent through the whole game Yeah well, yeah, well, obviously, Ross is the, the guy that's going to be the eyes for us as far as field position is concerned. But I thought I thought everyone was punching, you know. I thought Craig did pretty well as well, you know, as far as fastball is concerned. The forwards that came on, Jack Conan and uh, David Kilcorn, Rob Herring, etc., they all added, and so did Bundy. Bundy had a couple of poaches, didn't they, you know, which was um, which got us back on the front foot as well. And uh, yeah, Ross steered us around the field. and kept us playing till the death and that was the, that was uh, it's always important to be able to, to to be able to do that you know um, too many times we've seen leads where, where teams have shut up shop and I thought we um, kept playing till the end which is a good good point of our game Johnny what was the most important message for you to keep talking um, in the second half is that there's not so much scope of pressure but you are looking for yeah, he, he obviously got a reaction at half time, but also we didn't help ourselves. We gave away five penalties on the bounce, like when just no need. Um, all of them, you know, it wasn't like you know, a unlucky penalty or I think it was they were clear penalties, and it's. It's not good enough. Um, that gave them access and gave them, you know, you suddenly you go from a pretty comfortable lead to, you know, well, if they score again here, we're, we're in trouble. The stadium would have gone mental. But we, we held out. Um, we, we made a few errors then when we were trying to get out of our half. Um, but it was, all the messages were we need to just win the next moment. And that's where we've come a long way in the, in the last three years is sort of not getting... You know, test match rugby is difficult. It's going to be your gun. Team's going to have a purple patch, um, and it's just how you react to it and how you get over it. And the lads did really well to to bounce back and get that all important uh, fourth try. Can I ask you on a scale of one to ten, we, we know about Angry Johnny and Cam Johnny and Middle Johnny. Was there a point where you felt where you need to be a little bit a little bit better? Because you need to be a little bit a little bit practical at any point. Um, no, I don't think so. I think, uh, like I said, it was pretty. Easy fix-ups, you know, was stop giving away stupid penalties and do your job. Um, and when we did that, we we looked good again. Um, there's a couple of calls that, again, when we got back into their half, we we messed up a couple of a uh, couple of plays in in the backs where we again we have to have a look at that and make sure that we don't let it happen again. So important that you learn lessons in in victory as well as uh, defeat. So that's a five five, Derek. Five, uh, five. We'll take the last couple. Five. Level. Oh yeah. <laughs> medium, medium. 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 Yeah. Andy, you've spoken quite a lot over the last few months about how much you like embrace the adversity and you want a bit of disruption to see how your players react. But when you when you do lose two players in the morning of a game, are you wondering what sort of look you brought on yourself? No, no, because we've got full faith in. I mean. You know, when, when you've got Connor to step in, you've got Craig, you know, there's a, a tough decision in the first place whether Craig's playing or not, you know, so we're in pretty good shape and when Keane comes off and David kilcoyne has been training like he has, you know, we're, we're, we're in pretty good shape and not just that, we've got good guys that are backing up with, with those guys as well, so it's great, it's great. Um, the coach was going a little bit slow to the game and I thought this is going to be great if we're 15 minutes late, that'll really test us, but... We got there about three three minutes late, so it weren't too bad in the end. Happy enough? Okay, we'll wrap it up there. Thank you. And cheers, thank you. Thanks.